Paul joins us in Houston, Texas. Paul, welcome to The Ramsey Show. Thank you. Thanks, George. Thanks, Ken, uh, for taking the call. Uh, so I'm new to the Ramsey program itself. Um, I discovered it here trying to figure out how to pay off all my debts. And before, I'd been doing some probably less than ideal things um, with my finances. So my question is, with this pandemic, should I adhere to the $1,000 in an emergency fund, or should I have that uh, multiplied by a certain amount? So you're wondering, because of the pandemic, because of what's going on with the economy, how does this affect me? Do I need to save up 2000 10000 40000 in an emergency fund? Right, right. I've got some other circumstances going, but that's besides the point, but I want to make sure that I'm doing everything I possibly can. Yeah. Well, Paul, since you're new to the plan, I'll, I'll go easy on you, but there is no Paul caveat in the Ramsey plan that says, well, if your name's Paul and you live in Houston, yeah, it's okay to save more. The purpose of this uh, is not to instill fear and have you walking on thin ice. The purpose of the $1,000 is to fuel you to pay off all of your consumer debt to get you the stability. So if you have a little fear, I want you to, I want you to be a little bit uncomfortable because if, when you get comfortable, you get broke. And so the purpose of this $1,000 is not to say, hey, if the HVAC goes out, you're not going to be able to cover it. The purpose is to get you angry enough at this debt and get you scared enough because you're not in a good place right now when you have all this debt. So the purpose of that is to fuel you through baby step two, which is the debt snowball, paying off all of your consumer debts except for the mortgage, to get you to baby step three, where we create this financial force field between you and life, between you and the pandemic. So you were talking about your circumstances there, Paul. What are those circumstances? Um, so over the past about five years, I've doubled my income, which is great. Awesome. But I unfortunately was letting someone else manage the money. Um, and I discovered back in December just how it was managed. It was definitely not, um, in financial best interests. Was it a spouse or what, what do you mean someone else was managing the money? It it, it was, it was a spouse. Uh, <clears throat> since since then, I had to take the reins, and it obviously caused a big turmoil and a separation mm. to occur. I'm sorry. I said enough's enough. We've we, we've got a hundred grand plus coming in. Why why do we have ninety nine thousand going out? So you weren't you guys obviously weren't on the same page with money. You didn't know what was no, going on no, with the money. You actually did financial peace a number of years ago. But it, it didn't stick, clearly. Obviously, obviously didn't. Mm. Um, this was prior to her and I meeting many years ago. So you guys are separated now? Is, the, is there a divorce yes. being finalized? Uh, not as of yet, but I need to get everything on pace because I do have a son that I have to take care of. Mm. I'm and sorry to hear that, Paul. I'm a, and I'm $191,000 <clears> in the hole with a mortgage. Oh, the mortgage. What is the other type of debt, the non-mortgage debt that uh, you have? Credit card, credit card vehicle, um, back taxes, um, unpaid homeowners association fees. What does that uh, all add up to? The consumer debt. Uh, about about forty nine thousand. Forty nine. And what's your your uh, income? Uh, One hundred and twenty six eight. And that's you solo, which I'm guessing you will be. Is your money separated yet, or are you yes, back in the range? Completely separated. Okay, so you got one hundred twenty six <clears throat> coming in. And you have 49 in consumer debt. So that gives me hope because you've got a big shovel. Uh, and to me, this debt is gone in a year. With your with your take-home pay, you can absolutely crush this debt using the debt snowball method. So what that is saying to me is you've got $1,000 saved for a year while you clean up this mess. And then you're going to very quickly get the three to six months in place and have that financial stability. Yeah. Paul, I, I got a question here as George is walking you through this. You're very new to the Ramsey Solutions process. How's your budget right now? You got you got every dollar accounted for? You figured it out? Have you tightened things up? I definitely accounted for every dollar here. I actually downloaded the um, Every Dollar app uh, right. a couple days ago and started Excel spreadsheet. And after I've already done, <clears throat> basically, I started out doing baby step three before anything. Right. So, 
But so I've got a nest egg put up um, now. What do you got? What's in your baby step three that's out of out of order? What's in it? Uh, about thirteen thousand. Okay, so <laughs> you got thirteen thousand dollars in yeah. cash right now. Yes. Is that in is that in addition to the one thousand, or that includes the one thousand that we say needs to be the emergency fund? That's including the one thousand emergency fund. Okay. Well, you heard George so walk you through 12. this. You heard George walk you through this, and I know you're new to yes. it. But the reason that Dave Ramsey taught it this way is because it's all about psychology and momentum. Do you understand? There is some actual science behind it. It's not just Dave's opinion. And the momentum is this. With $1,000 in your emergency fund, baby step one, now you take 12000 today. What's the next, what's the smallest debt you've got right now? What is it? Um, about 1200 Okay, what's Which next? After, what's next? Is that a credit card? Yeah, that's what, a small credit card. All right, what's next after that? Uh, homeowner's fees, um, another almost 2000 Okay, what's next after that? Uh, another credit card. Well, how much is that one? Uh, 45 No, I'm sorry, 49 Okay, I'm doing quick math here. That's got... Uh, yeah, I'm counting it. We still got money to spend. How Cash much? What's next after that? We're wiping these debts out What's today. next after that? Every, by the way, if you're keeping up with me, Paul, every one of these things you're telling me, you're paying off with that 12000 today. Right, right. And I, and I also have a personal loan um, out uh, because I did sell an upside-down real estate property um, in preparation for How much is that? Out. Uh, Eight thousand. Okay, but we're not gonna. Okay, so we're not gonna get to that one. But the idea is, as George walked you through it, you're gonna go smallest to largest. So we're gonna spend twelve thousand dollars today before you go to bed tonight. You're wiping out several debts. We just got to three. We don't have to keep walking through this on the air. And Paul, what, what that does, right. it takes you down to thirty-seven. And when you're making one hundred twenty-six, you're gonna clean this thing up in six or seven months, and you'll probably get gazelle intense and want to take a side job and work more and clean this thing up even faster, so that you can create financial stability for yourself, for your kid. That's what it's all about, Paul. That is why we teach the baby steps in order. And you got this, man. Follow the steps. You can do it. This is The Ramsey Show.